Hello, welcome to Learn Coding. Um, this is a channel for students who are studying coding. Um, key Stage 3 students in England, Key Stage 4 students, and what I'm going to be basically doing is going through the very uh, basics of what you need to code, um, what's expected of you when you're in Key Stage 3, Year 7, 8 and 9, and then going on some of the more advanced stuff, the bits which you will need to know if you want to complete a GCSE in computer science, some of the functions and the theory that goes along with computer science. So we're going to be starting off today with the basics, so this is for Key Stage 3 students. If you want to check out some more advanced stuff, um, have a little look through the other playlists because there is a Key Stage 4 playlist with some more advanced stuff, um, different information that you may need. So starting with the very basics, this is the first time you've seen Python. Um, I've loaded it up. This is the um, Python shell here. Before we start doing anything else, we are going to learn a quick function, which is the print function. So it's the first function we're going to do, and it's a function which allows us to display text on a screen. If I go to File and then File and then New File, um, I now have a new window which I can do my programming in. So I'm going to start with the print function. Just as simple as that, just print, lowercase p. If I open a bracket and then put a speech mark in here as well, and this will allow me to type something that I want the computer to display. So in this case, I'm going to ask the computer to display, hello world. If you've done any programming before, you will be pretty familiar with print hello world. So. This program, all this is going to do is this will display the text which is contained within those speech marks. So if I now run my program, it'll ask me to save it, which is fine. We'll just call it uh, Hello World. And there we go, my program is running. Uh, Hello World. Well done, you've written your very first program. So let's look at um, next steps with this. Obviously, I can carry on printing, uh, adding other print statements if I like to. Um, however, what we're going to do next is we're going to add something a little bit more complicated into this. We're going to add a variable into this. Now, a variable is a container which you can put anything in. So you can put a word in there, you can put a number in there, you can put a symbol in there. And that variable can be called upon at any point in the, uh, in the program to be used with uh, other parts of the program. So to make a variable, we just need to name it. So I'm going to make a variable which will capture somebody's name. And I'm just going to call it name. Now, to allow me to write something into this variable or fill this container, I need to use an input statement. So I'm going to do name equals input. And then once again, if I use the bracket and the speech mark and I write a question, one relevant to my variable, so in this case, what is your name? What will happen is that when my user types their name, it is saved in the name variable. It is saved in here. So let's run this and see it working. So my program started working. Hello world, what is your name? I can type my name in here press enter and nothing happens. However, what's actually happened is when I pressed enter, my name was then saved inside the name variable. And we're gonna see that in just a second. So what we're going to do next is we're going to call that variable um, by, putting it into a, uh, by putting it into a print statement. So if I type print and I use a bracket and a speech mark, I'm gonna write the word, I'm gonna write um, hello again and just leave a space at the end so that my um, variable doesn't go right up to my text here. And then if I'm putting text and a variable next to each other, they have to be separated by a comma. Now I have to write the name of the variable, which in this case is name, and then I just close that. Now what I should get when I run this, uh, run the module, okay, what is your name? Again, if I type my name, press enter, then it comes up with hello Lou. It looks like it's actually put a double space in there, so I may not have needed the extra space here. Let's just take that away and run that again.
There we go. So it kept, still keeps the space in here. So that is printing and variables, uh, more very basic imp, uh, starting points of variables and very basic starting point to input statements. Um, what we, what you could have a look at next is using your own variables to ask different questions. So possibly things like food equals inputs. What is your favorite food? And then having the uh, program print my favorite food is also So here we do exactly the same again. So we just print out the um, variable name here. My favorite food is also, and then the uh, food, whatever was contained in there. So we'll just run that. What is your name? Lee. What is your favorite food? Let's go for pizza. My favorite food is also pizza. So we can see how we can now start to build up a program using input statements and variables. And in the next pro in the next lesson, we will look at using inputs and if functions to build a program. So we'll cancel.